Good morning and warm Pacific greetings to, uh, to you all. Uh, as I recommence duties on August 9th, I cannot tell you how truly wonderful it feels to be back to serve as the Vice Chancellor and President of our great university, the University of the South Pacific. On behalf of my wife, Sandy and I, we'd like to convey our deepest gratitude first to God and then to all of you for standing alongside us during these last few months. Your prayers, support, kindness, and words of encouragement will always be cherished by us. We could not have done this without you. I'm also deeply humbled and honored to be able to lead our great Pacific institution uh, along with our, my colleagues in uh, our senior management team. But at the outset, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the fact that I'm immensely grateful to our former chancellor, His Excellency, the president of Nauru, His Excellency Lionel uh, Angamia, the government of Nauru, the USP Council, and of course, USP's Nauru campus staff, who have been extraordinary hosts. Nauru and the, the university here have made us uh, part of their family, and for that, we are eternally grateful. Our stay in Nauru has been both humbling, but also educational. I've had the first hand experience of regional campuses, and I think I'm better positioned than ever to begin to do the hard work that we've always said needed to be done, which is to elevate the standards of our regional campuses. And to that, I'm also extremely grateful to our senior management team, especially the acting vice chancellor, Dr. Paunga, for his leadership during my absence. The whole SMT uh, have gone above and beyond their roles to ensure that USP remains a values-led education institution that respects our Pacific cultures. And of course, that is a vision that I set out for USP when I took over in 2019. And that will be the driving forces that will, uh, that will mean uh, how we take things forward. The success of our university is a collective effort led by both our academic and non-academic professional staff. And I want to, everyone to know that it's the extraordinary service of our staff and the contributions that they make as a USP family that we are so appreciative of. As you know, COVID-19 has really affected our campuses in Fiji and has vastly affected how we deliver and ensure that our studies are continuing uh, from uh, the first semester now into the second semester. First of all, our, our sincere sympathies go out to all those who've been affected, as well as condolences to those who have lost loved ones. For those who are recovering from COVID and to ensure that you have good health. It's been a challenging time for our university over the last few months, but I'm proud to have a team that has been vigorous in managing the university and ensuring that our students and staff interests remain paramount. I urge all of you to follow the COVID-19 protocols that have been set out by our respective governments and health officials throughout the region. As we begin semester two this week, I urge all those continuing students who haven't registered to please um, do so as quickly as possible. And if you are finding any difficulties, please reach out. We have different uh, numbers, toll-free numbers for our students, but also reach out to your campus directors at, at regional campuses. For prospective students who are still keen to study or looking to switch careers, I want to assure you that USP is a university that's on the move, that's fit for purpose, that has internationally accredited programs and short courses available. So please uh, do not he hesitate to contact our team. I also want to point to everybody, we do realize that things are tough uh, in our economies. And so the university has done a lot to increase the financial support it provides through the bursary scheme 
And you can always reach out and find out about the bursary scheme through our website. I am really excited that uh, shortly at the end of the month, on August 30th to September the 3rd, we will have a virtual open week, which provides an opportunity for working people who are intending to study at USP, but for anybody who is intending to study at USP next year, to visit our, our website and access information at leisure in the evenings, after work, whenever, but to try and learn about all the different opportunities that we have on offer at, uh, at USP. We feel that this is the university that is going to give you the maximum chances of gaining meaningful employment when you finish your work or if you're upskilling to make sure that we are here to uh, provide you with the necessary skills that you require. Or even if you're working and you're coming back to do some study, we are here and we're really excited to be uh, working with you. The virtual open day aims at ensuring that our students are made fully aware of the different, um, our prospective students really are aware of the different programs and courses that we have and to allow you to make sound decisions regarding your future studies and career paths. And it's accessible to everyone across the region. So please be uh, tuned to this because we'll be speaking a lot more about how this virtual open day will work. Finally, I just want to say that the week my first week back has been intense, but it's been immensely fruitful and rewarding as a transition back into office has begun with earnest. And I want to reassure you that we will do everything we possibly can to mitigate the impact of the challenges that we face collectively. We'll be launching some new student experience focused initiatives soon. So please watch out and uh, be aware of what this is. We'll be widely publicizing these shortly. As always, I remain committed to ensuring that the interests of our students and staff are paramount in shaping Pacific futures. And together with SMT, let me assure you that we will continue to stand for good governance and operate with the highest integrity and ethics as outlined in our mission, vision, and values, because that is what we've been entrusted to do as custodians of the university. Finally, I am so pleased to be back and I look forward to your participation during our strategic plan consultations, which will also begin shortly and other university events. Thank you so much. And um, I absolutely want to say again, thank you for the continuous support that uh, Sandy and I have received from the university community. Thank you very much.